And so the shareholders, they're getting a bit antsy. They're halting some new investments in Apollo. Give me the latest. Manis, the latest we know of happened over the weekend. Axia, a consultancy firm that manages or helps manage rather about $160 billion worth of investments, has told its clients do not put money with Apollo. That's after another consultancy, Cambridge Associates, last week did the same. We also know of two pension funds in the U.S., a Pennsylvania public school systems one, as well as Connecticut. Connecticut's treasury treasurer coming out saying we are not committing new capital to Apollo. The Australian Financial Review is also reporting one of the pensions there is reviewing one of its mandates with Apollo that's said to be worth about one billion Australian dollars. This all off the back of a New York Times report that Leon Black, the co-founder of Apollo, wired Jeffrey Epstein $50 million in 2008 after his original conviction of soliciting prostitution from teenagers. So this started as a reputational issue for Leon Black, increasingly becoming one of financial stress for Apollo. And in terms of the lasting damage, how, well, it's still very early to assess this, but how lasting will this damage likely be to Apollo? Manus, I think that's the key here. Apollo did hire an outside law firm to do a review here, and a lot is going to hinge on what comes out of this, because shareholders have told Bloomberg they can't see what that $50 million was sent for. They're confused by it. So some answers need to be had for that. Otherwise, we can expect more reputational issue for Apollo itself to come forward. Look, it's really difficult for a lot of these pensions to pull out money that they already have. You need to have a breach of contract typically to do something like this. So Stopping to commit new capital tends to be the route that we see for these sorts of reputational issues. But pension funds will be the first and have been the first here just because they're under more political pressure than other types of investments. Apollo, though, is in the middle of fundraising for about $200 billion for various credit funds. So that is going to be an extremely difficult task if these pensions and consultancy firms continue to review their relationship with Apollo Manis.